Hi everyone. Today we will have an experiment about resistance and capacitance. I hope you have prepared before our meeting today. And also in this video, I will show to you how to do this this experiment and how to understand this experiment. Okay, let's start it. The aim of this experiment is first to determine the resistance by using the Weston bridge and then second to determine the capacity by using the Southie bridge and in the end you have to verify the true resistance and capacitance formula with the serial and parallel connection. Of course, you have to understand about the basic theory of this topic about the resistance and also capacitance. And also, I remind you about the Wheatstone bridge. In here, I will show you in the simply about the Wheatstone bridge that you can see in the slide and also the Saudi bridge. More detail, I remind you and I ask you to read in the textbook so you can understand more deeply about uh, the Saudi and also the Wheatstone bridge. Do that. Move to the material and tool. I will show you our equipment in our laboratory. We have the power supply here. We have the galvanometer and we have the circuit board. We have the resistance. This is the no resistor. And we have the unknown resistance. And we have the cable connector here. Okay, let's prepare for the first experiment. For the first experiment, we will measure the resistance by using the Wiston bridge theory. First, you have to connect the cable connector to each point. In the right up corner, you can see the schematic setup of this process. You can follow this process so you can understand and you can uh, get uh, this data for the first experiment in here we connect uh, for each uh, cable connector to each point and don't turn on the uh, power supply before we make sure that our setup is a correct setup and here we take the cable connector and we connect to the power supply and we take the resistor here this is the no resistor that the resistor is a one kilo ohm and this is the rx1 resistor that we don't know the value of the resistor after you make sure that this is a correct uh, setup turn on the power supply and then how to get the data okay please see carefully we move the cable connector and we connect to the wire this is the wire in the circuit board and look to the galvanometer so the galvanometer will move to some uh, value and then after we move the cable connector slowly slowly and the needle of the galvanometer change and will return to zero see in the galvanometer return to zero when the galvanometer return to zero you have write the distance and you can see this is the distance uh, do this uh, process for X, rx1 two or three times after that move to the rx2 uh, we just take out 
the RX1 resistor and then change the connector to the RX2 like this. The process is the same process with the RX1 and we move to the we move cable connector to the uh, wire area and then we check the galvanometer and the galvanometer will move and return to zero after the galvanometer move to zero record uh, this distance and you can see the distance show 39 do this process for rx2 two time or three time after that we make a series uh, for the rx1 and rx2 like that we just need to change after that do the same process move carefully and check to the galvanometer the galvanometer will move to zero again the needle of the galvanometer move to zero and then record the distance it show 28 do this process two time or three time and we will make a parallel for rx1 and rx2 like that see this is the parallel setup of rx1 and rx2 after you set up this parallel and then turn on the power supply and do the same process check to the galvanometer and then move the cable connector until you get the needle return to zero like this do this process two time or three time in this case the galvanometer return to zero and the distance show 63 i hope you can understand for the first experiment setup after that turn off the power supply and we will move to the second process move to our second experiment we will measure the capacitance by using the Saudi method this is the circuit board and then this is the power supply this is the galvanometer and we have the no capacitor here is 21 microfarad and we also have unknown the capacitance we are uh, in here we make a symbol with the CX1 and CX2 and also we have the cable connector here okay for the first experiment of the capacitance you have to build your setup uh, you can look into your textbook or you can uh, learn from this video first you have to connect uh, from the power supply make sure that the power supply is uh, off mode and then you put the cable connector and then connect to the uh, point in the circuit board like this and also you need to uh, connect from the galvanometer to the circuit board like this because we want to measure the CX1 that we don't know the capacitance you need to connect the output of the galvanometer to the output of the uh, capacitance CX1 in the circuit board don't forget to put the non capacitor 21 microfarad in the front of the uh, point of the circuit board like this and after you complete uh, to build you can measure the capacitance of GX1 here this is the process look into the galvanometer you will see the needle of galvanometer will move 
from zero to some uh, value and then when you move the connector to the wire the needle of the galvanometer will return to zero after you get uh, this distance you need to write and record don't forget to repeat this process for the gx1 uh, two time or three time understood okay after that you can change from the gx1 into gx2 you don't need to uh, take out your setup you just need to change the capacitance from the gx1 to gx2 like this video okay after you finish your setup turn on the power supply and then move to the cable connector to the wire and then you need to look into the galvanometer needle you can see the needle of the galvanometer will move and then after that it will return to zero after you find uh, the setting point you need to record and don't forget uh, repeat this process for CX2 two time or three time I hope you understand about this process easily after that for the third process of the capacitor you need to make a capacitor CX1 and CX2 in series like this look into video this is the series uh, set up for CX1 and CX2. Turn on the power supply and then move the cable connector into the wire. Look into the galvanometer and find the distance that the needle will return to zero. After you get the uh, setting distance of the needle when the zero don't forget to record uh, this distance repeat this process for uh, series setup in two time three time or four time okay and for the last setup we will make a parallel of the cx1 and cx2 how to make up how to make the parallel CX1 and CX2 is shown in this video like this look carefully after you set up the parallel turn on the power supply again and do the same process find the distance that the needle of the galvanometer will return to zero like this move slowly of the uh, cable connector here you find the distance and then record and repeat this process three times or four times okay after you finish you have complete uh, get the data from the experiment and then return all of the equipment in the storage uh, don't forget to turn off the electrical move to the final slide i will show you about the working sheet of the resistor this is the working sheet of the resistor and also this is the working sheet of the capacitance put your data and record in this tabel and don't forget to write two three or four data and for the task you have to determine the resistance and capacitance in series or in parallel and prove the theoretical and thank you for your attention do your best thank you